I'm exhausted. I had two papers to write last night, and I thought, no big deal, right? I just pump these two 2,000-word papers out there, you know, run through them real quick for any grammatical mistakes, print them, leave them in my book bag, turn them in tomorrow morning, done, all right? This would not be the case. I ended up staying up until 4.30 last night, writing and editing these papers. The first one was all right. It took me a while to finally get it all done, but I got it done out of the way. The second one gave me a little bit more trouble. I wrote it just fine, and then I found that it was only 1,600 words, and it needed to be 2,000 words, which means that I have 400 words that I just need to stick in there for the sake of filler, just to fill the essay, which I think is ridiculous, because I thought it was a decent essay at 1,600 words. Now, it's at 2,000 words, and it has a lot of fluff that could just as easily have been taken out of it, and I just think it's ridiculous. But, at 4 o'clock or so, uh, I go to the computer room to print, because the network has gone down and we can't print from our rooms anymore. So I put it on a thumb drive, my two papers, head down to the computer room, plug it into the computer, click print, right? Right. First, the printer doesn't work. Okay. Well, I'm using a Mac, actually a really old Mac, like Apple Mac thing, huge thing where it's just like a monitor and a computer built in together into one thing. And I'm not exactly sure how to, to check these things to see what's going on with the printer. And this is the only computer in the house that will work on the printer because it's directly connected to the printer. So I figure out that the printer has been stopped or paused or something and I get it to restart and print my stuff. Well, it prints, but say, um, here, say this is the page that I'm trying to print, right? Okay, this is what I'm trying to print. Uh, it prints this content right here on that side. It'll print this too on this edge. And then everything right here in, in the middle portion of uh, the paper. Yeah. All of that is faded out so you can't even read it. So, you know, you can read the beginning and the ending of the lines, but you can't read anything in between, which is absolutely pointless. So, I ask around what's going on, what's with the toner and everything. They're like, oh, shake it. They tell us to shake the toner cartridge. So I shook it, and it did a little bit better. The first page was legible. Second page, almost legible. Third page, no. Everything beyond that, not legible at all whatsoever. You may be wondering, wait, who did you ask at 4 a.m.? When I got into the computer room at 4 a.m., there were at least six people all diligently typing out their essays at 4 a.m., there are also people in the halls on their laptops, people in the common room, people in the kitchen, people in the dining room typing their papers. Several of them were still there typing their papers when I woke up to get ready to go to Wycliffe Hall at 7 a.m. I don't think they had moved since 4. It was ridiculous. Anyway, I said, hey, I'll go to Fruin Court where the student center is. I'll print my paper out there. Sure enough, I'm getting ready to go, and someone says, Hey, are you going to Fruin Court to print your paper? Because there's 50 of us, and we all needed to print papers, because they're all due today. And so we're all planning on going to Fruin Court to print our papers. And I said, yeah. And they said, someone just sent word or whatever came back and said that the printer there doesn't work. Wonderful. So now I have to go to Wycliffe Hall, like I had to anyway, but now I have to go to the library and print off my papers there. Finally got them printed off, turned in. And of course, all I really got was a measly two-hour nap for my night's rest. So I'm exhausted. That's why I decided to wear glasses today. This is what you're used to. Uh, this is a little different. And I haven't taken a shower. It's gross. I, I don't feel right. just don't feel right. I know I'm going to take a shower every morning. And... <sighs> I'm sorry. Anywho. The Greeks built a statue to an unnamed god. I guess they thought, well, the gods that we have, we probably left at least one of them out. I am giving a shout-out to the unnamed viewer. It's the viewer that just happened to come upon Scoxford, watched this one video, and said, 
that was a waste of time, or whatever you're going to say. Maybe that was fantastic. Probably not. Either way, you get something out of it, because you get a shout-out. So the shout-out is to you, unnamed viewer of Scoxford.